Hello everyone and welcome to what I believe is maybe our fifth session of this socially quarantined or socially distant Tai Chi. Uh, my name is Adrienne Van Kieran. I'm with Tai Chi Healing Energies and I'm really hoping you're going to enjoy today's session. Just a couple of things. Please remember that as we go through this, I'm going to do my best to mirror you. That basically means if I say your left arm goes up, I mean your left arm goes up. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is I'm going to try to suggest suggestions. So if you're joining us from a standing position, you can follow along. If you are seated or limited mobility, you can hopefully follow along. If the modifications are not quite enough to meet you where your mobility is at, please reach out to me so that I can help make sure that this is appropriate, um, an appropriate workout or exercise routine for everyone that wants to join in. So we will go ahead and get started. Our biggest thing is going to be getting nice, getting nice and grounded. So if we are seated, we are gonna follow the same basic rules. We're gonna have our feet flat on the ground. We're gonna make sure our spine is nice and straight. The head top is really lifting the body. We imagine that there's a, a string connecting us to either the ceiling above or the heavens above. We've got our feet nice and rooted. The weight is evenly spread over the soles of the feet. Again, spine is nice and straight. We gently tuck the tailbone underneath to help facilitate the ground. We're also light on the legs. If you're seated, when you tuck that tailbone underneath, it's just a matter of trial and error to feel that ground. We also are open and rounded through all of the joints so that we're not restricting the flow of chi. We want our chi flowing smoothly around our body. So we are going to go ahead and start off now that we're nice and grounded by letting the arms float up in front of us. They're going to extend, they come back, and then they sink back down. So again, with this, we're trying to get the body warmed up. We're not overthinking it. We want this to be a smooth, soft motion without any pauses or stops. So the arms come up, they extend, they come back and back down. Do that a few more times, just trying to get the body moving, really feel that connection to the feet and the head top. So one last time with that, Very nice. From here, staying nice and grounded, we will let the arms float up in front of us, the palms rotate overhead, and then the arms fall gently to the sides. So again, nice, gentle opening and stretch up, and then a relaxed closing as the arms fall. So we wanna get our chi energy involved so as the arms raise, the chi spreads from that lower dantian to fill the body. And then as the arms fall, the chi returns to that. So again, the arms raise, we feel this nice stretch and opening on the inside. Do that a couple more times. We also wanna take care to try to keep the shoulders draped down as we do this and not let the shoulders creep up. So one more time, just like that. It's a nice opening and the arms fall softly. Good. Now we're gonna do the same basic motion, but the exact opposite. So this time the arms sweep out to the sides. We keep those shoulders drop down and then the hands come down the center of the chest. The fingers are not touching as we do this. So again, this nice opening, arms raise and then hands sink down the center of the chest. So keeping it nice, gentle, and relaxed, just going for this basic movement and stretch. We do wanna have our chi involved with this, so as the arms raise, the chi fills the body, and as the arms fall, we return the chi to that lower dantian. So a couple more times like this, keeping it nice, and relaxed, really go for that internal stretch. So one more time, up, and let the arms return. Good. 
So we're going to keep our nice, secure ground. This time we're going to sweep the arms up the center of the chest and we're going to let the hands interlace so the fingers are together. We extend and then very gently bend over to your left, back to center, to your right, center, and down. Do this a few more times, really trying to get the upper body especially warmed up and moving together. So then a nice gentle bend to your left, center, right, back to center, and the arms fall. So we'll do that a couple more times. Again, really getting the body warmed up. And then that nice bend to the left, to the right. Do that one last time, making sure the feet are nice and grounded. And again, nice stretch over to the left, the right, back to center, and release the arms. Very nice. So with this next movement, we're going to start shifting the weight a little bit and trying to open those shoulders up. So for this one, the arms are going to sweep out to the sides. I'm going to ask that you shift your weight over to your right and turn to the left. Let your right arm float down in front while the left arm float down behind, and then you turn back to center. We're gonna do the same motion on the other side. So again, the arms are going to sweep up. This time we're gonna shift our weight over to the left, turn to the right, let your left arm come down to the front while the right arm is behind. We're going to repeat that same motion one more time on each side. So again, the arms sweep up, shift your weight over to the right, turn towards the left, let the left or right arm float down in front, and back to center. Again, sweeping the arms out to the sides, turning to your right, letting the arms fall softly back down. Good. Do that one last time on each side, making sure the shoulders stay draped down, feeling that nice, gentle turn as the body begins to work together. So one last time, turning towards your right. Very nice. So now that we've got the body starting to, to work together and to really be unified, the next thing we're going to do is our breathing. We're gonna do a short and simplified form of the breathing before we go into the longer form. As we practice this, when I say hang, I want you to inhale and gently pull your stomach in. And at ha, you're going to exhale and let your stomach relax back out. This is the opposite of the way you typically breathe and there are all kinds of health benefits to this. We're gonna start by taking three nice breaths in and out all together. Then after that, those of us that are standing are going to allow our arms to float up in front of us as we inhale. As we exhale, we will drop our weight through our rooted, grounded feet, then bend over to follow. After we do about six of those, we're gonna let our arms cross in front of us, and then the left arm is gonna go up to push on heaven, and the right arm goes down to push on, um, on the earth. And we're gonna get into a smooth reciprocation and motion of this as we inhale and exhale. If you are seated, the modification for that is going to be when the rest of us let our arms float up in front and then sink our weight through our feet and bend over. On the inhale, I want you to look first to your left. On the exhale, your head's going to go back to center. On the next inhale, you'll turn and look to your right and head back to center and keep going with that. So all of that being said, take just a couple of seconds here to check in with your body. Make sure you feel nice and grounded again. And we will go ahead and start. Hang, inhale, pull the stomach in, ha, exhale and relax. Hang, pull the stomach in as you inhale, ha. Hang, ha. Hang, letting the arms float up or looking to the left, and ha, drop that weight and then bend over. Hang. As you rise here, do so from the feet. And ha. Again, nice and slowly. Hang. Ha. Hang. 
bending over four right now. Hang. I want everyone to let their arms cross in front and ha. As you exhale, your left arm raises, your right arm sinks down. Then hang. Inhale, the hands cross in front again and ha. As you exhale, your right arm goes up, left arm down. Hang. Ah, left arm up. Hang. Ha. Hang. Ha. Hang. Ha. Float out to the sides. Ha. They relax open. Hang. Let the arms cross in front. Your right wrist on top. Ha. They relax together. Hang. Inhale. Flip the arms through. And ha. Our last exhale for that sequence. Very nice. Hopefully you're beginning to feel a little bit better. We are now going to do the entire breathing sequence as taught by what I consider my ultimate teacher, Master Jones, Joe Soon Hua. I do want you to pay attention and make sure you are light on the feet as we're going through this. There's a lot of weight shifts that come in Tai Chi where you're really going to notice that. And if you were watching carefully at the last segment, you might have noticed that when the arms were uh, crossing in front, when my left arm was going up, my weight shifted a little bit to the right side. When the arms crossed in front, I was double weighted. And then as I was putting my right arm up, my left arm, my weight went over to the left side that little bit. That's because in Tai Chi, we're really unifying the body and working with the crossover of the central nervous system. The application for this is if we are so stiff on our feet, we won't find that weight shift. So try to relax through this. So again, make sure you feel nice and grounded. I'll talk us through a little bit of this. So at hang, we inhale, the arms will float up to the sides, and ha. Hang, arms cross in front, ha. Hang, flip the arms through, and ha. As we exhale, the arms rise in front of us. Hang, the arms open to the sides, and ha. Hang, on this inhale, we almost scrunch in. Ha, as you exhale, the body unfolds. Then hang. Ah, hang, ha, ah, nice big stretch up with this, and hang, the arms float softly down, and ha, ah. hang, turn and look to your left, and ha, ah, head back 
to center. Hang, turning and very gently looking to the right. Ha. Hang, looking to the left. And ha. Ha. arms float up in front and ha sink the weight through the feet and then bend over hang you're in a seated position you're going to keep going with those head bends ha arms cross in front and ha exhale and the left arm goes up then hang the arms cross in front again and ha this time your right arm is up hang ha so the left arm rises let your weight shift to the right and hang Ah, the weight's on the left with your right arm up. Hang. Ha. Ah. Hang. Ha. Ah. Hang. Allow the arms to float out to the sides. And ha. Ah. Hang. The arms cross in front again and ha. Hang, keep those arms together and ha. Last exhale. As you need to, go ahead, kind of shift the body a little bit, maybe step it out, do whatever you need to do. The biggest thing with Tai Chi is to always listen to your body. So if you need a break or you need to do a little bit more movement or something like that, always listen to what your body is telling you because it has a innate wisdom that uh, only it is aware of. So typically in these sessions, we have been doing different postures. Um, at our last session, we worked on a posture called either diagonal flying or um, parting the horse's mane, depending on kind of what form you're familiar with. I received so many excellent questions after uh, that session that I'm actually going to repeat this posture again to give a little bit more clarification. Um, and I will say too, I love that feedback. So if you have any feedback or questions or anything after one of these sessions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. So again, this posture is going to be very good for um, opening up the lungs and also the heart. It's also good for the small intestine, oddly enough. Um, so I'm going to ask that you observe before you do this for yourself. So this is, posture is going to be done in bow and arrow stance, which means I'm going to shift uh, all my weight over, step forward with one foot, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn to my right, it's almost, as, or excuse me, to my left, and it's almost as though I'm holding a large ball in my hand. At this point, because I am turned to the left, my left arm is on top, my right arm is underneath, and I'm, again, turn that little bit to the side. From the back foot, I'm going to shift my weight forward, and as I do so, my hands are going to separate, my right hand is going to rise in front while my left hand drops down. So again, I'm going to go from that back foot, shift the weight forward, and then allow my hands to separate in diagonal flying. I'm going to turn to the side for that and give another demonstration. So from bow and arrow stance, again, I'm going to, from the back foot, shift my weight forward, and then the hands separate in diagonal flying. And again, back, shift the weight, Turn to the front, let the hands separate. 
One of the great questions I got about that was, my shoulder hurts, my ball is too heavy, what can I do about that? Great question. If you're noticing that strain on your shoulder or your ball seems too heavy, this motion is too much, we want to make it smaller. So at that point, I'd have a very small ball that I'm holding, and I would still do the same thing, shifting my weight forward and letting the hand separate. It would just be a much smaller motion like that. So from the side, that's gonna, again, back, and just that little bit of a separation. If you are joining us from a seated position, I want you to work with this in two ways. If you are seated, I want you to be carrying that ball to the side, turning to the front from the waist, and letting the hand separate like this. And then it would be back to the side, allow the hands to separate as fully or as much as feels good to you. And again, if you're in that seated position, we also want to work out the other way. So from there, I would also ask that you have that ball in front and maybe get it into an alternating routine while you're holding that ball in front and allowing the hands to separate and turning to the side like that. It's all about unifying the body and getting that nice separation. So what I would like all of you to do and recognize too, this is likely going to be easier and feel more natural on one side than the other, perfectly normal. What I'd like you to do, make sure you are nice and grounded. So you know what that means. Take just a few moments to find that for yourself. Then I will ask that you all shift all of your weight over to your left, pick that right foot up and bring it directly forward. Adjust your back foot to that 45 degree angle. You've got a nice space between the legs so that you're stable. Your tailbone is tucked underneath, spine is straight and the head is rising. You want the arms open and rounded. From here, put the weight on your back left leg, turn to your left, your left arm is on top, your right arm is on the bottom. So what we want to do, just to practice this weight shift a couple of times, I'll say ignore the arms a little bit. Simply practice shifting the weight to the front and turning to the front. And then back, and then again from that back foot, shift the weight forward, turn to the front. Do that one more time. So from that back foot, weight comes front, turn, and back. This time we're gonna open up the arms. So from that back foot, we shift the weight forward and let the hands separate in diagonal flying. So again, we come back, shift the weight forward, let the hands separate, diagonal flying. We're gonna keep repeating this until we get into a nice, smooth motion. Very quickly going to turn to the side just to give you another angle, but again from the back foot, weight goes forward and the hands separate. So again, weight goes forward, hands separate in diagonal flying. Do just a few more of these on this side. And one last one for now. From here, I want you to go ahead, step back, get yourself grounded again here in what we refer to as horse riding stance. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So we will shift all of our weight over to our right, pick that left foot up, bring it directly forward, make sure the back foot's at a 45 degree angle, Check in with the body to make sure that you are nice and secure in this stance. Then I want you to go ahead, turn to your right, letting your right arm be on top, your left arm is on the bottom. Then from the back foot, we shift our weight forward, let the arm separate, diagonal flying. So again, we come back, shift the weight forward, hands separate, diagonal flying. This motion is not going, is not likely to feel smooth at first. That's perfectly okay. The more you practice this, the more it will feel right. The more also the body will begin to work together and to really be unified, which is exactly what we want in Tai Chi. 
Then we'll do one more on this side for now, nice and, and great. Shifting that weight forward and letting the hands separate. Then go ahead, step back into to horse riding stance and we'll want to be nice and grounded. We're going to repeat that exercise a few, a couple more times on each side. I really want you to look for the body being unified together. And also, again, if there's any movements you need to make to make this fit your body, please listen to yourself to make those modifications. So again, we will go ahead, shift all of our weight over to the left, step forward with the right. I'm going to just say make sure you are nice and secure here in bow and arrow stance. Then I'll have you turn to your left with your left arm on top. We will go ahead, shift the weight forward, and again, diagonal flying. Then come back and feel that reciprocation as your body comes back. So feel how the body works together to shift the weight forward and let the hands separate. And also as you shift your weight back to that back foot and the hands return to this ready position, really feel how the body begins to work together. Do a couple more of these. Actually, we'll do a few more of these. We really want to get this motion down. So that nice separation as the weight shifts and also that nice return. So we will do this just one last time on this side. Then go ahead, step back, do the exact same thing on the other side. So once again, we want to feel nice and grounded here in horse riding stance. We'll shift our weight over to the right, step forward with that left foot, go ahead, turn to your right and get ready. Have the weight on the back foot. Again, we will shift the weight forward, turn from the waist, let the hands separate in diagonal flying. And with this, we really want to feel that reciprocation as we back up and return to the starting position as well. Because again, one of the many things that Tai Chi is about is really unifying that body and getting it to work together. So you want to feel that connection from the feet planting firmly into the ground, whether you are seated or standing, and to the arms working together to help provide this motion. So again, making this nice and effective as this diagonal flying. Do this one last time, letting the hands separate, and then go ahead, step out of that. Anything you need to do to shake it out, please feel free to do so. As we were going through that, you likely noticed that it felt more natural on one side versus the other. Um, for whatever reason, it seems like a lot of us feel that, that is, it feels better to do so on our left side with our left side forward. There's just something about this motion that feels right. Whichever side you noticed felt right or it was easier on that side, that means that because the body is that little bit out of balance, we want to do extra on the other side. So again, if you felt that that left side was easier to step out in and do, that means that we want to practice a few more of these from the right side than we would on the left. Um, so just kind of be open to that. The reason for that is if I am this strong on my left side, and I'm this strong on my right side, if I work things out at the exact same, all I'm doing is strengthening an imbalance. If I begin to work out a little bit more on my uh, off side, then I can bring the body back into balance. And that is what we are all about with this. One, just a couple more things I want you to do. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, shoulder opening at this point. Whether you are seated or standing, this is a little bit easier if you are standing, of course. What I'd like you to do is go ahead, extend the arms out to the sides, and then I'm going to ask everybody, if you're standing, shift your weight over to the right. Let your right arm come down. It's going to have a closed fist. It's going to tap very gently on the shoulder and your back arm taps in the back. And then we're going to spread the arms again. The arms are going to come up. 
This time we will shift our weight over to the left, letting the left arm come up to tap that shoulder in front and the back arm taps in the back. And then again, the arms are open, our weight's evenly over both feet. We shift our weight over to the right, let the right hand come up to tap in front. Again, open, shift the weight over to the left. We're gonna speed this up a little bit, so open and close. Open, shift the weight over to the left and tap. Open and tap on the right. Open, tap. Open, gentle tap. If you are sitting, you are really going to be focused on the arm that is in front. Don't worry so much about that arm in the back. What we really want to feel is this nice opening and then we gently drop the shoulders. This is really good for anyone that has cranky, achy shoulders. Of course, we want to take care to keep this nice and gentle. So if we do have achy shoulders, we might only be extending the arms a little bit. And if we can't come up to tap the shoulder, that's perfectly fine. We want to do the best we can with where we're at. Just do this maybe two more times on each side. And come to a gentle stop with those. Very nice. The last thing I would like all of us to do together for right now is the Chinese Cultural Facial Massage. If you've been following along with these videos, you know that there are so many health benefits to this. We really want to bring increased oxygen and blood to, this, to the face as we massage. Um, and we also really want to fight wrinkles, so we'll go ahead and do that. We will start by rubbing those hands together to really accumulate our nice, healing, soothing chi energy. If nothing else, you don't want your hands ice cubes when we do this. All of these sets are going to be done in, or all of these rubs are going to be done in sets of 36, except when they're not. And the very first thing I'd like you to do is take this healing chi energy that you've built right in the center of your palms, cup the hands over the eyes, and take this chi energy to the backs of the eyes. Your eyes should feel as though they have a nice warm blanket wrapped around them. Once that energy begins to dissipate, rub your face in an up and down motion, counting to yourself 36 times. This is a quick, vigorous, stimulating rub. Once we've rubbed our entire face, the next thing we're going to do is rub around the ears. Again, 36 times. Do try to keep the shoulders straight down. Don't let them creep up to become earrings. After we've rubbed around the ears, we're going to pull down gently along the sides of the nose. I will forewarn you because it is allergy season that gravity works. So if you suffer from allergies, it's always a good idea to blow your nose before doing, especially this part of the facial massage. Then the next thing we're going to do is unclench the jawline, relax that, let go of that stress, and then rub back and forth along a nice, relaxed jaw. And then we are going to put our uh, four fingers on one side of the third thumb on the other and up and down. We want to do half of these 36 rubs with one hand and half with the other. If you lose count, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. And then the last thing we do as part of the facial massage where everything is done 36 times is to rub the lower back 49 times. I'm going to turn my back to you very briefly. Please excuse me. But with this, we are going to rub down from a V-shape in the waist towards the tailbone like this. We can use the backs of our hands like that if we need to. We can even use our thumbs and do it like this. And honestly, we can even use our imagination if we need to. If we have something going on keeping um, ourselves from being able to reach behind the back, then we can always just use our imagination and do the best we can. Whew. 
I don't know about you all, but I feel much better having done that. Uh, so I will say uh, thank you very much for joining me for this, uh, another one of these socially quarantined sessions. Um, if you would like to donate, you are more than welcome to do so by going to my website, uh, www.taichiavk.com. Also on my website, you will find uh, useful videos, you will find handouts, beginners documents, and that's also well, where you will figure out exactly how to get in touch with me with any questions, comments, feedback you might have, any postures you would like to really get into or anything like that, um, please do not hesitate to reach out. From that, I will say thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me for Tai Chi. Thanks.